<laughs> Jeez. <laughs> At Fraser Center, the heart of our mission is fostering inclusive communities. We do that in a lot of ways through the programs we offer, but we also do it by reaching out and creating partnerships with other organizations and people in the community. That brings resources, talent, knowledge, connections to the people that we serve, but it also gives us a chance to reach out to other folks in the community to help them become more aware of how they can be inclusive of people with disabilities, how they can make accommodations, how being inclusive is good for all of us and for our community. There's a synergy that comes from that, where the whole is greater than our individual parts. One example of the power of partnership is what we've been doing with Trees Atlanta. It started with the two of us coming together. We had a beautiful 39 acre old growth forest on our property but we knew we didn't necessarily have the know-how as human service professionals, how to take care of that. Trees Atlanta had that. We each put a little money in the pot and now six or seven years later, we have monthly volunteer days in the forest, tackling invasives and trail maintenance and erosion. We had a National Fish and Wildlife Federation grant that invested heavily into the protection of the forest. We have partnerships now with other organizations like Echo Addendum and Georgia Adopt a Stream program that are further helping us protect the forest. And once we realize how valuable this forest is, how important it is, how much diversity it has, we realize what a great learning environment it could be for the children we serve. So we started down the path of becoming a nature-based early education program, one of the first really inclusive full day programs like that in the country. We partnered with Georgia State University for over a year to develop our forest curriculum. Having them in the room with us made sure that the curriculum was focused, was taking advantage of the rich learning environment we have in the Fraser Forest, and was put together in such a way that it was easy for us to share it with our colleagues in the early education field. We're also partnering with Emory University right now. Some of their students are helping us develop tools to measure student outcomes on our Fraser Center Forest curriculum. You look at this. One of the exciting new partnerships for us has been with Our House, a nonprofit in Decatur that serves families experiencing homelessness. We have received grant funding that has helped us to take the forest curriculum we've developed for use in our forest and with our early childhood program and share it with other programs serving children in more under-resourced communities. With Our House, we've been able to provide the curriculum to them free of charge, provide training to their teachers, and provide field trips here for their children in our forest. If anybody needs help, just ask. Trellis is one of our newer partners where individuals with expertise in horticulture and horticulture therapy are working with the adults we support at Fraser Center to help them explore their interest in gardening and growing things and getting involved with the beautiful campus that we have here at Fraser Center, as well as in the Ability Garden at Callanwall. This year we're partnering with Westminster School. Some of their fifth graders adopted the Fraser Center as their community service focus for the year. And the focus is on building relationships across differences with people from around our community. These fifth graders and the adults in the Fraser Center program are getting to know each other, are becoming friends, are sharing at Valentine's Day parties, across a board game. They're learning about each other and developing friendships at the same time. With the Theater Platform Project, theater professionals have been working with adults served by the Fraser Center, providing classes on theatrics, on how to act, how to produce a show, and putting those skills to use in our annual holiday extravaganza. This year, that extravaganza included people from outside of Fraser Center, so we had a more inclusive program 
that not only benefited the people here at Fraser, but people throughout the community. One of the results of Theater Platform Project is that one of our really talented folks in the adult program was discovered and got the chance to take private voice lessons. One of the partnerships we've had that a lot of folks have heard a lot about is our partnership with the Refugee Women's Network. We began that over a year ago, working with Refugee Women's Network to find refugee women who are looking for careers as they establish the, their lives here in the United States. It's been fantastic and we've gotten a lot of great new folks on our staff because of that partnership and the training that goes on in our internship program. We've lived out our values of inclusion in a whole new way with a more diverse staff and a more diverse student body. And one of the ripple effects of this partnership is that it's gotten a lot of attention and other schools are starting to replicate what we're doing and coming to Refugee Women's Network and Fraser Center for advice on how to do this. Partnerships like these have such great returns for us, for the people we serve, for our community. But once we get them started, we see the capacity, we see what they can be and how much they can do. But sustaining those is always the trick because a lot of those grants that we get to start them they're one-time grants, they're time limited, and when they're over, they're over. So we are looking for ways to make sure we continue to support these great opportunities and to grow them. These partnerships have done so much to extend our reach, to get new people involved in our mission, and to provide new opportunities for the children and adults that we serve at the Fraser Center. We just want more of that. We want more Walters who through these partnerships get introduced to people who can help him develop his voice. We want more children like Jack who get to experience the forest, maybe for the first time. And we want more neighbors who volunteer to come get their hands dirty in our forest and who get their hearts involved in fostering more inclusive communities with us. Just like there that. We go. Perfect. Yeah. All right, looking good now.